Weird but interesting things in Japan. This is a bathroom that is transparent to the public. This is a public restroom in a park, and as you can see, the insides are completely transparent when nobody's in. So, how do you make it private? The bathroom has see through walls when nobody's in, but once you go in and you lock the door, there you go. The bathroom becomes unseeable. The reason for the see through walls is so that people can see how clean the toilet is before entering. How cool is that? Things in Japan that totally make sense. So, this is a book sanitizer, it was in the public library. The way to use it, you just open the door, and place your book in, and you close the door, and just press start, and the machine just goes on and sanitizes your book. Like, how cool is that, man? Japan is all about vending machines, like you'll see one every 10 meters, and at some point it's overwhelming. <laughs> we even sell all kinds of stuff, from tea to water to coffee to juice to soda, anything. We even got one for a soy sauce. For example, this one only has paper pack juice. But here, in Ueno Station, which is near Tokyo, we got a vending machine just for insects, like, whoa! And they got all kinds of insects, from like, water bugs, to bug kebabs, to rhino beetles, to spiders. Each one costs like $10, and they come in small plastic bags. They even got one that gives you random insects. Like, I would have loved to try one, but unfortunately, I didn't have cash on me, so I guess I'll just leave that for you guys. See you later! Today, I'll be showing you one of the best things I love about Japan. The toilets! Japan seriously has the best toilets. And here's why. So a lot of Japanese toilets have this dashboard thingies. It helps you have a satisfying time while you do your thing. For example, when you press these buttons up here, a nozzle comes out from your toilet, and it sprays water to clean your ass. This one is for when you want more ventilation, and these down here are for temperature settings. This one for your toilet seat, this one for the water that comes out from here. I mean, come on, who wouldn't like a warm toilet seat when your ass is really cold? Other than that, some toilets have this small button that plays music so nobody can hear you do your thing. Try to find one when you visit Japan. A cafe full of robots in Shibuya. This is called the Pepper Cafe in Shibuya. And most of your services are run by robots called Peppers. And these are all Peppers. Upon your arrival, you get greeted by the Pepper Robot. And this is where you get to reserve and choose your seats. After that, you go to the menu robot and you order by tablet out of what you want to eat. And you also pay here. There are also normal paper menus for those who don't like robots and prefer human service. Each seat has like a robot next to it, and you can play games on the tablet it has on its chest while you wait for the order to come. By the way, your food is carried by another robot, not Pepper. I guess Pepper is be like, no, I ain't carrying your food, and that's like other robots. Other than that, there's also dancing robots that dance to music. Pretty cute, huh? Here you can get your ramen without speaking a single word. This place is called Ichiran, pretty popular, you can see it everywhere, and this is how you order. Once you enter the store, you'll see a ticket booth. This is where you buy a ramen ticket and proceed to your seat. With this machine, you check which seats are open, and there you are, at your completely isolated booth. The small window thingy closes too once your ramen arrives. At your seat, you fill out a preference seat, like how hard you want your noodles or like if you want extra toppings. Then you give that to the waiter along with your ticket, and just wait. You might as well get some water while you wait. And in no time comes your ramen. The taste is amazing, I really recommend it. Oh, and if you want like a second bowl, you can just write that down on the chopstick sleeve and give it to them again. Well, enjoy! Japanese sushi places are the best. This is a typical sushi restaurant we always go to in Japan. It's a fast food style sushi restaurant, dollar a plate. It's great. Once you're done with your reception, you get to go to your table, and this is where the magic happens. So everything is inside the table. Soy sauce in there, and chopsticks in there. The table has a built-in faucet if you want hot green tea. You can either order from the tablet, or you can take something from the conveyor. There's a conveyor next to each table that carries random types of sushi. You can take anything from here if you find this appetizing. Each plate has a plastic cover to keep it hygienic. When you're done, you just put the plates in the disposer next to you, and this is how they count how many plates you've eaten. For every five plates, you get to play a game on the tablet. If you win the game, you get a small Happy Meal toy. I mean, it's for